What is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing an overall market update, taking a look at the Dow Jones, the S&P 500, and the NASDAQ. We're also going to be doing a trading update, talking about what I personally did today in the markets, as well as some stocks and ETFs that I'm watching to trade here in the month of September, towards the end of the month in September, heading into the month of October in 2019. So if you guys find value in this video, if you enjoy the content, that I'm producing here on YouTube, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see further content involving the stock market, trading, and investing. And let's get right into it, starting off with the SPX, also known as the S&P 500, the 500 largest publicly traded U.S. companies. You guys can see this one ended up closing down $14.75 today, down 0.49%, almost a half percent in the red today. The Dow Jones Industrial Average down a bit more than the S&P, down 0.59%, almost 0.6% on the day, down 159 points and 72 cents here. The NASDAQ guys took a bigger hit today, down $86.25, down 1.09% on the day. You guys saw tech down here. You guys can see tech. Actually, I don't know if you can see it, because my face might be down there, but Facebook was down 21 cents, nothing really crazy there, but Google was down 8 bucks, Netflix was down a big $15 today. Microsoft down $1.63, and Apple down $3.23. So tech overall was red. That obviously has a big weight on the NASDAQ, hence why the NASDAQ is down 1.09%. So going back to the S&P 500, guys, I want to talk about some technicals here that I'm seeing that aren't too good from a bear, or rather from a bullish perspective. They're really good, these technicals, from a bearish perspective if you have a bearish outlook on the market. And let me explain why. So we can see here on the 4-hour chart, the 184-hour chart, on the S&P, the all-time highs at around $3,027.98. We actually almost tested that all-time high on the 12th of September, but if you guys can zoom in, you can see we got rejected at about 30.20 on the 12th of September. Well, we pulled down, we held Held the 2990 level of support, as you guys can see here, which was a good sign at the moment, at that moment in time, because at that moment in time, we could have potentially popped and broken out of that resistance and then continued the uptrend and then hit all time highs, right? At that moment in time, that was still a scenario, a possible scenario. But now that we can see and kind of rewind into the future, or rather fast forward into the future from that point in time because things have already played. We got rejected again at that 30-20 level, which is not good for the bulls out there from a technical perspective. And what's going to make this even worse for the bulls is if we close below 2990 in this upcoming week. One good thing about the bulls, for the bulls, is that we did close above 2990 today, which is that support that we held above a couple of days ago and also a couple of months ago. So that is a good sign. But once we do, if we do break 29.90, you know, this could be free falling all the way down to about 29.50. And from there, we might see a potential hold on the moving averages, the green and the yellow lines that you see here, the green being the 50 SMA and the yellow being the 180 SMA. These could definitely act as supports, you know, if we do end up gapping down and really just breaking 29.90 on the S&P. So right now, the performance of the market got Guys, is signifying or really uh, sending a signal to me that we may be further selling we may see some further selling off here in these next couple of days and I'm keeping an eye on the futures heavily on Sunday to see where they open out uh, at right 6 p.m. Eastern Standard is when the futures open. You know, if they're gapping down pretty big in the red in terms of being red, you know, down, you know, that could be signaling to us that we may be opening up somewhere down here below that support and uh, we may be dropping further from there. So those are just some key levels I'm watching. You know, if we zoom in here on the 20-day, one hour, you guys can see, you know, the double top, which is not very good for bulls. That's a bearish sign. You know, we broke that 50 SMA on the hourly chart here. 
here. And again, you could see it, see it a bit closer here that we are holding and we did close above 29.90. So that is pretty good. But again, the way things are looking, guys, I see this dumping and potentially testing uh, 29.50 this upcoming week. Um, you know, maybe that 180 SMA on the one hour chart and all the other points that we talked about um, a couple of seconds ago here. If we go to the Dow Jones Industrial Average, you guys can see on the 20 day one hour chart, similar to the S&P, we got a double top, which is very bearish. We broke the 50 SMA support here on the 20 day one hour chart. And now we're holding, we closed above the $26,900 level of support, which is very, very good for the bulls out there. But again, a gut feeling is telling me we're going to be selling off. We're going to be breaking below this level and uh, maybe potentially going down to $26,600, which, is, which would put us right on top of that 180 SMA that's been a support here on the 20 day one hour chart for the Dow over the past couple of uh, weeks here, right? You guys can clearly see that. And if we zoom out a bit, the overall channel we're trading in, and we've been talking about this on all of these videos that I put on YouTube here, is between 26,900 and around 27,300, which roughly is that all time high. So the fact that we struggled very heavily to break out of this resistance to hit another all time high that was very bearish in my opinion right that's a bearish signal we dumped and now we're testing that critical support which again like I said you know if we break that we may be selling off even further so going to the NQ guys you can see again it's down 86 points right now on the close we actually broke a very very critical support here which is not good at all for the NASDAQ being at around 7870 that's roughly that area that we peaked out at towards the end of April towards the beginning of May in 2019. You know, we, we obviously sold off that month. I know you guys remember that May month. It was a pretty big correction in the market. Not as big as December of 2018, but it was a pretty decent correction. And from there, we hit the all-time high, thus breaking out of that previous resistance at 78.75, making it a support. And we sold off, making it a resistance again. And then recently, guys, a couple of days ago, about eight days ago, we broke out of it, making it a support again. Again, and you guys can see what happened here at the all time high at around 80.50. We got a double top, and now we're dumping yet again. We broke that 50 SMA, which is bearish, right? We broke that 78.75 level of support, which is bearish. So keep an eye on this upcoming level of support on the NQ. I have a feeling we're going to be selling off to it, which is at around 77.50, as you guys can see on this chart. It was an old resistance where we kind of triple topped, then we broke out of it, thus making it a new support. So right now we're trending between 77.50 and around I guess you can say 78.70 so that's a tight window of about 120 points that the NASDAQ is currently trading in so if we zoom in a bit more um, to this 20 day one hour you guys can see here you know higher highs higher lows until right now that we dumped we did not get that higher high to continue the uptrend we got double top we're dropping and you can just see the bearish trend starting to form slowly it's not fully formed guys don't get me wrong this is not a fully formed bearish trend quite yet because you can see we're still technically holding that uptrend trend line but once we start if we start to break down to the 76s 77s you know that's going to be forming a deeper and deeper bearish pattern and obviously from there you know we could trade a bunch of you know market ETFs that go up whenever the market are selling off, which is what I'll be talking about next week in the video. So subscribe in the, the case that the markets do end up dropping, right? If the markets drop next week, which they could based on these technicals, you know, that could give us a lot of opportunity in the short market ETFs. So that's kind of my thoughts on the market right now from a technical perspective. Let me know what you guys think today. I'd be very interested. Another thing to throw in is the VIX, the volatility index was up 10% today. That's pretty, pretty big up a dollar 27 here you guys can see you know we hit a we hit a point in time where we've been at a point in a point in time where it's been falling pretty aggressively right you know as these markets have been continuing to go up you know the vix went from about you know in that month of october or not october rather august when we got that big sell off another big sell off right you know the may month you can see it here august we got the sell off the volatility you know the vix went from 12 all the way up 
to 24. So that was a double up there. Then we went from 24 all the way back down to 13 as the markets were, you know, kind of settling, moving up at a slow pace. You know, the VIX started to drop. And now with the slight pop, you know, this could indicate some volatility coming, guys, especially if those technicals play out the way I think they will in terms of the major markets. You know, if they start to drop the major markets, you know, and this breaks out of the moving averages, this could be a mover here, which we all know, well, probably 80% of you guys know that when the VIX is up, markets are down. What is very, very good to trade? TVIX, which goes up when the VIX is going up and again, when the markets are going down. So now that I threw in the VIX there, guys, let me know what you think about that, right? Drop a comment down below, the markets in general, what you're watching. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on everything right now. So to talk about what I personally did today in terms of my trading, guys, I didn't trade TVIX, which would have been the perfect move for me today. And the truth is, guys, I actually didn't really trade much other than taking a little loss on Activision. So Activision Blizzard, this was a stock that, I was initially looking to hold for a month, like I mentioned a couple of videos ago, right? But ever since I started building a position, well, really, I've only put one, um, you know, uh, stake into Activision. You know, it hasn't really been playing out the way I wanted to. So with the markets looking the way they are right now with the potential to dump, I kind of wanted to play it safe here with Activision Blizzard, take a little loss and wait for a potential re-entry, maybe if we start to dump here and head back down to $52, maybe if we break out of 57 hold that level as a new support, and then maybe start to climb back up into the 60s, right, which actually was the initial plan, and you guys can see for yourselves, you know, at this point, Activision has just been struggling very heavily here, right? Very heavily since the 5th of September, you know, it's been getting rejected multiple times, you know, at that level at about 56. And ultimately, guys, I probably got into this position a bit early because I got in when it didn't really confirm the hold on the new support. And for those of you guys that didn't know the original plan with the swing trade here, you know, it was to get in at about 56 and then ride it up to 62. But with how fast Activision did initially pop, you know, this one could be just tuning up for a bit of a sell-off here um, to bring that RSI down a bit for it to cool off, but ultimately if it settles here at $52, 53 even, this could be another dip buy where you know, I could be hopping in uh, again, right? And that's the thing guys, you know, if you see a swing is being slow, you know, it's slow to kind of pan out. It's okay to hop out with a little bit of a loss initially and then wait for it to play out and then maybe hop in for a potential re-entry, right? You know, my again, my initial position with this, I wanted for it to climb up here. But now that I'm thinking about it, you know, that would be a pretty quick move from 48 all the way up to 62. You know, we might need to see it cool off a bit. So that's why I took the little loss. If you guys remember, you know, I was in at around 5510. You know, we closed the day at about 5476. If we zoom into the one day, one minute, you know, you guys can see... <coughs> We were trading up, we were trading up, we got hit again at that resistance, we started to dump, and then ultimately I just took my losses, um, I think it was literally right, not actually no, it was not right before this big dump, it was after this little pop, you know, after that dump is when I just started to take my money out of Activision, but this is not saying that this was a failed trade, well, I guess you can say it was a failed trade because I did lose money, but I'm playing it safe at this point, because if these markets dump next week, guys, I'm scared that I'm going to be caught in a little bit of a, a situation, I guess you guys can put it, right, because if the markets dump, at V dumps with the markets, if that does end up happening, you know, I could potentially be two, three percent in the hole next week if that does end up happening. And I just feel more comfortable taking that loss, waiting to see what this ends up doing in this channel that it's currently at and uh, or rather in. And that's just honestly the plan and what I did today um, with Atvi. So, Guys, stocks and ETFs that I'm watching, just to keep it short, typically Fridays the videos are a bit shorter because I figure your guys' attention span might not be as as wide as it might be on, let's say, a Tuesday night, Wednesday night, because it's, it's Friday night. Maybe you guys have plans. Maybe you guys are going out. Whatever it may be, I don't want to hold you too long. So, you know, 
at v is one I'm definitely watching, right? AT&T is definitely one that I'm watching for potential re-entry. You guys can see we pulled down, held that 50 SMA on the 4-hour chart nicely. Now we're seeing a bit resistance um, under $38. You know, this could be a point where if we break 38 we could be filling the gap up to 39 bucks. You know, this is something that I'm watching um, for AT&T for this upcoming week. And the, the truth is, guys, AT&T has been doing very well. Um, let me just take a look at this chart. You know, it's been doing very well despite what the markets have been doing in terms of markets dropping, markets really just dropping at this point, right? Because the markets did take a big hit in May took a big hit in August, but overall, this one's just been trending up, which is really, really nice. So another one that I was watching, I talked about in yesterday's video was Facebook. Facebook, we need to see a break into 190, hold that 190, 192, potential entry at around 192. Um, next resistance I'm looking at is around 205. So the channel I would like to trade Facebook in is this one right here, this nice little open window from around 192 up to 205. Five. Another one I talked about yesterday was Alibaba. This one didn't do much today, up about 1%. Pretty good day, but I consider this a consolidation day, right? This is a consolidation day. Um, if we pull back down, hold 180, maybe start to trend back up, hold this overall uptrend that I've drawn out here from this trend line, you know, this could just be a very nice dip buy on Baba here. And uh, if you guys watch my three stocks, I'm swing trading video from yesterday. This was one of those stocks, and go check that out while you're at it. It after this video if you want to see a more in-depth look at the three stocks I'm looking to swing trade but um, you know this one would be a sell target at around $188 and again market ETFs guys just like always you know this by now if you've been watching my channel for a while these ones that I have in this watch list um, SQQQ which goes up when the NASDAQ is going down right if the NASDAQ dumps this could be one to play SPXS, which goes up whenever the S&P is going down, that could be one to play in the in the scenario of a market drop next week. We already talked about TVIX, which is a volatility ETF, goes up whenever the VIX is going up and when the markets are going down. You know, these are ones that I'm watching in the in the case of a potential market drop, right? Because with the way we're looking now, there could be more selling off to come, just based off of these technicals that I'm seeing. So. That's pretty much it for this video. I know it was a bit quicker than my normal videos, but again, guys, Friday, you guys probably don't have much attention span right now, or at least the majority of my audience doesn't. Um, but anyway, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to go down below and hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you want to see further content from me, and drop a comment. Like I said before, guys, let me know what your thoughts on the market are, thoughts on the stocks you're trading, um, just, just thoughts in general, guys. I love the whole purpose of this channel, believe it or not, why? Why I started this channel was to create this community. I, I, I've said this on the channel before, you know, a lot of my friends, a lot of my closer, you know, relatives, they're not really into the stock market, right? So I wanted to build this community where I can talk and interact with people in the stock market that are into the stock market. We could bounce ideas off of each other. So don't be shy. Drop that comment down below. And while you're at it, if you want to be in our Discord community, which is about 800 people at this point, 100% free of charge that is linked down below as well and a lot of conversation goes on in there about stocks bouncing ideas off of each other a lot of that goes down in there throughout the day pretty much 24 7 so all the links are down below guys instagram facebook discord all that good stuff so yeah have a great weekend i'll catch you all in the next video which will be on sunday and uh that's it guys have a great one peace out what is going on everybody, it's Stas here, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing